Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Jane's Fighters Apology. Today we will be finishing our showcase of the Russian exclusive aircraft with the Su-35. Now I believe the Su-35 was originally meant to be in that mission in uh, the campaign where we got attacked by the Su-34. Uh, at least that's how I recall it in um, USNF-97. And so we will be doing a mission showcasing the SU-35, and I believe it would have been in service or close enough to being in service that a couple would have been rushed uh, for the war in the Ukraine. So we will do... What do we want to do? What do we got for targets? Factory airstrip armor call. We will, okay, this is what we're going to do. We are going to simulate a mission toward that we would have seen towards the end of the war. Where, um, you know, as uh, NATO was moving back and liberating Ukraine, uh, we would have seen uh, Russian attempts to stemmy that advance. So in this case, we'll be striking a heavily defended bridge uh, projected by the French contingent in NATO. Uh, we're going to start 20 miles custom loadout and it'll be just us. We have no backup and we'll have to fight our way through the AAA, the SAMs, and the, and the enemy air defenses. So. Uh, do, do, do. So let's take a few more adders. And I like the uh, big bomb we got there. So with this, we see again we have lots of fuel on par with uh, American and Western fighters. We have a fair amount of uh, weight that we can put on too, as we see we're loading up for both air and ground attack. Actually. Oh yeah, these were laser guided. Okay. Um. You know what? Can we get there? I think I'm comfortable with that, so we'll fly with that. So we have our very stylish scheme, which somewhat reminds me of the uh, eight schemes that you could get in. Uh, Ace combat for some of the Russian aircraft. So first off, we'll have our we'll activate our jammers and we're gonna close on these mirages. Now the SU-35, a lot of people say it's like the F-15E versus the F-15C. I think it's a more apt analogy would perhaps be like the Super Hornet to the Hornet, where you know like some um, because the 35 is an evolution on the 30, which is an evolution on the 27. And the 30 basically added multi-role capability to the flanker. So in that sense, that was more like the F-15E to the C. This is basically adding additional multi-role capability as well as just all-around improvements in, you know, avionics, maneuverability engines, that sort of thing. Alright, one Mirage down. Another Mirage down. And you can see we're very maneuverable. We actually, I believe, we have, I believe the SU-35 has thrust upgrade. Nearest bandit is behind us. Alright, so we'll disengage. I think this is the bridge we're supposed to be attacking. Uh, we see there's Ukrainian, or rather, we got some uh, Russian mil-serp uh, guarding it. 
So we're gonna order our wingman to attack the bridge. Actually, you know what? Let's have him suppress the AAA while we attack the bridge. but we didn't quite take it out. And you can see they are very generous with the amount of chance they give us. So what we'll probably do... Is we'll hit the uh, center span with a cannon. That's just ridiculous and overpowered in this game. Boom, bridge is down. That will slow NATO down as they try to take back the Ukraine. So we're going to disengage and we're going to bug out uh, to the north to where our nearest air base is. See very maneuverable plane once again. And here we see the airbase at Kirby Ra, which is under our control. So. But the SU-35 is definitely like a 4.5 gen version of the F-15E Strike Eagle. Probably the, um, the, I would say that its closest equivalent might be some of the upgraded variants we've exported to, say, Saudi Arabia or South Korea, as those incorporate some uh, radar reduction uh, radar cross-section reduction improvements, as well as avionics improvements. So once again, we are going to have some very impressive low-speed, low-altitude performance. Probably cut our throttle a fair bit. And there we go. And we landed a bit hard there, but. I think this shows the, um, adequately shows off the SU-30, very maneuverable fighter, uh, much like American multi-role aircraft that is capable of fighting its way to the target, destroying the target, and then fighting its way back out. So it kind of uh, takes more of the American and Western design philosophy for its multi-role fighters, um, you know, as we're able to handle threats in the air and on the ground equally well. So that concludes the Russian exclusive aircraft from the Ukraine campaign. Um, so I know some of you are anxious to get to the Pearl Islands campaign. I know I am. These uh, showcases are almost as long as the Vietnam campaign at this point. But I will be going through and doing uh, the Air Force showcase, which should be about three... Uh, maybe about eight more aircraft and then uh, after that point uh, I'm gonna save uh, the major NATO allies like Ukraine and France for probably after the uh, Baltics campaign 
as I think that would probably be the most fitting time to show them. So, but then we won't, I probably won't demo the Air Force aircraft again other than, uh, actually I probably won't because I don't think there won't will be any major new ones in any of the campaigns. So, so that's it. eight more episodes of showcases and then we'll get back to the campaign. So thank you all for watching and stay tuned for next time and we'll see you then.